Are birds important to your garden? Absolutely. Let me tell you why. So this is Daryl with Louisiana Simple Living. So I kind of started thinking about it. I always uh, promote birds to being in my garden. And attracting birds and attracting birds to your garden is easy. You just got to put out some bird food. If you got some of that, you need clean, fresh water. And somewhere where they can stay, a birdhouse of some sort. If you do that, you're going to have birds stay around your garden a lot more than they ordinary would. And the benefits are many and they can help you achieve a bountiful harvest out here in your backyard garden. Now we'll tell you, the birds that I have around here, got a bunch of them. They will get an occasional blueberry. They will go ahead and, and feast themselves on, a, on a, a fig maybe. But that's okay, they're not gonna eat that much. We can share. And the benefits you get in return are so much more important for your bountiful harvest. All right, let's talk about those benefits. And probably the easiest benefit to recognize from having birds out in your garden is pest control. Birds absolutely love eating bugs. They love aphids, they love caterpillars, they love all different kinds of bugs. And if they see it in your garden, they're gonna, they're gonna go and grab it and eat it. And having a birdhouse over here with the Eastern Bluebirds, I get three generations uh, each and every year and watching the mama and daddy bluebirds on the fence they come in if i'm in the garden they'll come and lay on the fence near the birdhouse and you can just see bugs you know big old bug in their mouth in their beak and they're just constantly flying and going flying and going um, so they help us out tremendously on pest control and tying into that is i want to keep my garden organic so leveraging birds getting them in here into your backyard garden is critical um, to be able to help you stay organic and not having to put out seven dust and all these other really, really bad pesticides that we don't want to have in our garden. And if we can attract birds to our garden, use them as an organic type of pest control that'll help us out so we don't have to use seven dust or other real nasty uh, pesticides out here in our garden getting on our vegetables that we're going to bring inside and eat. And we'll stay organic, we'll leverage birds to help us stay organic. And number two is pollination. Hummingbirds, there's orioles, and there's other birds that sip nectar. You know, your hummingbirds come in, they want to go and they want to hit all your flowers. And end up what they're doing is they, they end up moving the pollen from flower to flower to flower. Uh, and orioles do that as well. And this can give flower heads an additional boost to put some really good color out in your garden because I interdisperse flowers all throughout my garden to attract the pollinator. So certain types of birds actually help you to pollinate your flowers in your garden. Number three is rodent control. And I'm not talking about your eastern bluebirds or your wrens or your sparrows, but I'm talking about hawks. I'm talking about uh, owls. I got an owl that lives kind of diagonal um, back behind the uh, house on the next neighborhood or next street over. He comes and lands on my fence every so often. I get to see him kind of at dusk. Uh, and I'm sure he's absolutely helping me out and keeping my rodents, any rodents that I may have, under control. And they also help out by getting any other varmints, uh, your smaller rats, we'll call them mice, um, snakes and other things of that nature. Um, they come in and grab them with their feet, kill them, take them up, bring them up in a tree and eat them. I love it. All right, next up, number four is weed control. Sparrows, finches, and toesies love to eat uh, grass seeds or weed seeds, which makes them a helpful kind of landscaper out here in our garden. Um, if they get hold of some seeds uh, from some of the weeds that we don't want, then uh, they help us out. That's always a good thing. And that's basically what you get your um, your bird feed. You know, it's all the little seeds and stuff. Uh, you can get sunflower seeds, I use that as well, and they love that. Different kinds of birds love different variety. And even planting some seeds, some grain, those kind of things, you actually create a head of seeds that the birds love. So it just it gives you another alternative to having to put as much seed out in your feeder. Um, they can get some from directly from any garden. Something to think about. All right, number five, and that's food sharing. Now, I know many of you probably don't think this is a very good benefit, but food sharing, and basically, if we go ahead and grow um, different kinds of fruits that we have out in our garden, in a container, wherever it may be, and fruit including like apples, pears, cherries, peaches and plums even, planting these and other berry producing um, bushes or trees such as a blueberry, mulberry, um, blackberry, and I have a, a blueberry, a number of blueberry bushes you've seen me post before. And I always get a good early harvest. I get out there and get about as much as I can use and then leave a little bit on there for the birds. And they come in and, and finish it off. A symbiotic relationship. 
I want my birds here. I want them happy. I don't want them to eat my entire harvest, but I'm not going to have a problem if they get a little bit, a little bit to uh, give them some nutrition and good food. Just don't take it all. <laughs> Number six is environmental conservation. Now, I've talked about attracting birds. One of the best ways to do that is to go ahead and plant some of your some of your native plants, your native flowers um, in your garden actually. That's something that I do as well. Again, interdispersed within everything else. They create flowers, they create seeds that these birds really like. They come in, uh, it brings the pollinators in as well. So it's a symbiotic relationship again, helping out our birds to help them come in this area. Native plants are better for your environment. They've proven they can grow. They probably use less water less nutrients and that's why they've been successful here in this general area uh, where you have your garden and if you like this content do me a favor subscribe like that video feel free to share it now let's get back to the benefit of the birds in your backyard garden video all right number seven is education by having your birds out here all in your uh, backyard throughout the entire year which is what i do you end up having an opportunity to see all different kinds of birds you don't normally see uh, you can see some woodpeckers come in. You can see hummingbirds, of course. You want to feed your hummingbirds. As they migrate, they come in. But you get to see just a whole multitude of birds that you don't normally see if you're not out there feeding them, giving them an opportunity, giving them a place to stay in a, a, a bird-friendly, let's call it that, uh, environment. It's important to do that. You can learn from your birds. You get to see them birthing. Uh, you get to see, you know, when they go into a birdhouse. Uh, you get to see the youngins. So I got some wrens that live in two spots like under the porch and on the front right side of my house and sometimes when you walk out there boy you see a bird that hadn't even hardly flown any has a hard time flying so he was just born um, pretty cool to check out number eight wildlife conservation so by giving an environment uh, where the birds are able to come in here and stay year-round now they may nest somewhere they got a number of places they nest in the in the backyard and all around the side of the house in some bushes and that kind of thing um, by providing that kind of bird friendly environment, it just creates a, a, an oasis, let's call it that, an oasis, a great foundation for allowing our birds to settle in, allow them to multiply and do the things that birds do, which is help us in the garden. And that just helps provide birds not only in our backyard, but in the local community, local and wider community as well, which is important. All right, number nine is stress relief. And one thing I love to do is, of course, when I get home from work, I want to go out in the garden. I want to uh, piddle around and go ahead and water anything that may need some additional watering. But also the thing I love is going out here and just looking at all the, the birds, the bugs, uh, the butterflies, everything that's out here in our garden that we, we you know just learn to appreciate a little bit better. And it is an absolute stress relief. And there's a number of studies that have proven uh, getting your hands in the soil, getting out in your garden, doing some things, just reduces your stress way down. And that's uh, important for our livelihood and for our health. And it also just gives another uh, venue to get some vitamin D from the sunlight and detoxify the body through fresh air in our backyard garden. And there's no doubt that attracting birds to our backyard garden is beneficial. Sometimes you gotta, get, you gotta just kinda stand back and smell the roses. That's exactly what we gotta do. Go in our garden, enjoy what we've done with our own hands. Um, and just look at the birds, check out the butterflies, check out all the various uh, living creatures in your garden, and it just reduces your stress and makes it worthwhile. And finally, it increases property values. This one may be a little bit of a stretch, but listen, listen, hear me out on this. A home that's well maintained, that has good native landscaping, a bird friendly environment, uh, you pulling in all the birds, the bees, the pollinators, hummingbirds, I mean, everything else you can think of on the moon. You pull them into your garden, beautifies the garden, which beautifies the backyard or front, wherever you may have your garden, and it beautifies the house, which if you're looking at property values, you're getting ready to, to maybe move, try something new, this is going to do nothing but help your property values of your house. It's a, a good investment in your property. And hey, look, when I talk about um, making it bird friendly, this is my squirrel proof um, bird feeder, basically. Do a lot of sunflower seeds along with the kind of mixed uh, wild bird mix. This thing goes down. 
that's actually just a glow in the dark deal i got a bunch of feeders i got a peanut log here normally i would have suet i just don't put some out when it's this super hot this is my birdhouse i uh made this one three or four years ago i've had three generations of bluebirds in here since i just pulled it um, I'm, I'm gonna rebuild one as you can tell something's kind of got in there and knocked away some of the wood uh to the entrance which can make it too easy for uh for anything to get into it if that wants to so i'm gonna rebuild this one i'm gonna put it back up i'm gonna put some uh i'll show you how i do it in a video upcoming and it'll be pretty cool this is my feeder over here um this these bushes as is here i think these are there are just tons of cardinals that live out in here so i always try to keep this uh bird feeder filled up and it has and it's squirrel proof as well see it'll just drop and it blocks the uh way so i'll put a link to those those are pretty cool and you always want a bird bath there's no uh i don't have a fountain going in here yet but uh at least give them some water as hot as it is they may not use it but uh, there'll be other places in the yard where i do have it so important to make it uh, bird friendly water and food and of course this is my uh bird bath out in the backyard that's the old concrete one i used to have i just put it out here and at least it fills up the water when it rains bird friendly that's the idea yes yeah, so i routinely have um eastern bluebirds i routinely have i have a blue jay every so often I have cardinals, I have sparrows, wrens, um, I have owls that come out. I'm not sure what kind those are, um, but I see one every so often out on the fence. Hummingbirds come through. I want to make sure I got my feeder uh, fresh uh, sugar water basically for them. We want to promote the uh, migrating hummingbirds. I even get to see a woodpecker every now and then, which is really cool, and I'll see them out on the bird feeder right here. Um, during the summer months, I don't typically do suet. I just do sunflower seed type of mix as well as just regular small bird, uh, bird feed mix. But I will put suet out at times uh, during the, at least when it's not 100 degrees like it is right now. Um, I'll put it out in the fall and the spring through that time in the winter. They like that as well. I also have a peanut log basically that I put out there and some of the birds really like that as well. And it's just worthwhile to bring and attract your birds in to get the benefits that we've just talked about in your backyard or in your backyard garden. Now we'll do a DIY of my birdhouse that I built. Um, I'll show you how to make that. And uh, that'll be kind of cool, cool in a video by itself. Hey, and if you like this video, you'll definitely like my gardening is local video. I'll put a link down below for that. If you like this content, do me a favor, subscribe, or like that video. Feel free to share it and garden on. And as always, I will see you on the next video.